Hey you guys! So today's video is, I believe, the final installment of my Roasty Declutter series that I started a while ago. I was on the fence about completing it because all I really had left was a few foundations and lip products, at least so far as what I was willing to share with you guys online or what I thought would be entertaining. I'm still getting rid of a lot more than what I'm showing you. It's just that I don't think anybody wants to see me go through every single solitary item I have. To clear something up, um, I have been asked many times if I would send my makeup to people. Everything that can go that is either rarely used or never used is going to Restaurant Ministries in Nashville. I will leave their information down below if you are interested. Please know that I appreciate you guys watching and I appreciate all your support, but I'm not going to send you any makeup, so don't even bother asking. I have been asked many times to share with you guys what I plan on keeping. I will do that, but I have to, I'm gonna wait until I get like a new vanity. I have a whole new setup I want to get so you'll just have to wait it out with me a little bit But when it's when it's done, I will I will show you what I ended up keeping So all that being said make sure you check the down bar for links to all my social media platforms Come hang out with me on patreon and let's just get started Okay, so the lipstick portion of this I think is gonna be a little bit difficult because I have so much of it But I will say the number one thing that this purge has taught me is that I don't need to buy a lot of lip products because truth be told, right here next to my filming station, I keep pretty much all the nude lipsticks or lipsticks in general that I'm going to use. I don't use much more than this. I, I just don't know what in God's name I was thinking buying all this stuff. Some of it is PR, but a lot of it I paid for. So let's start out with this thing here. This is a lipstick tower, I would say. <laughs> If you're getting to the point where you're having to buy storage solutions this big to hold your shit, um, you probably can cut back on buying stuff. And this is a good example of why, because if you look at all these lipsticks, tons of them are MAC. And I can tell you right now that the majority of these MAC lipsticks were bought between 2013 and 2015. So I'm sure almost all of them are expired and I'm willing to bet some of them were either never worn or only worn one or two times because the thing with nude lipsticks, and I've said this before, is you really just need to find a couple that you enjoy and that's it. I think nudes should be a your lips but better color and there's only so many of them out there on the market. So when you find a couple of good ones, I'm willing to say you could probably stop. That's just my opinion. Learn from my mistakes or don't, do what you want. I'm gonna actually tally up how many of these I'm getting rid of on this little sticky note right here. Let's go through and find some of the highlights, shall we? So a tip for you guys, if you wanna know whether or not your lipstick is expired, um, obviously if you're not just going off of the recommended shelf life of the product, you can smell it and usually get an idea, particularly with MAC lipsticks because they use vitamin E and a lot of their formulas, it has kind of a, a vanilla scent to it. So you will be able to tell. It'll smell kind of like rancid Play-Doh. It'll just smell off and that's when you need to get rid of it. But even if you don't wanna go off the recommended shelf life, you should still probably get rid of it if it starts to smell bad. So this is MAC Viva Glam Gaga. Do you guys remember this? First of all, there is like mold growing on the outside of it. I can see it. I don't know if you guys will be able to, it's like, fuzzy on the outside. So it was definitely expired, but not to mention like what in God's name was I thinking buying this lip color? This would look absolutely disgusting on me. Oh my gosh, I know I've had this one forever. This is the Bare Minerals Moxie lipsticks. I don't think they even make these anymore. Oh my gosh, it won't even like come out. Ew. Yeah, definitely expired. Wasn't a bad formula and not a bad color. I just got a lot of use out of it at one point, but it's dead, it's expired, I don't need it anymore. This is the first MAC lipstick I ever bought. This is Angel. Do you guys remember this color? It used to be so popular. Definitely expired, it's right there. It's pretty color. I just don't think I would even wear it now because it's too pink and it's not really my vibe. Oh man, you guys remember these? Do they still make these? These are the Lime Crime um, Unicorn lipsticks. I'm not 100% sure what they were called, but the packaging was like, it still is some of the coolest lipstick packaging I've ever seen, but this is Coquette and Baby. Ooh, yeah, these are expired. They're clumpy. Ooh, not good times. Oh, gross. Oh my gosh, can you see how chunky that is? Oh, so these are definitely gonna go. These are two Lorac lipsticks. These came out in like 2014, that's six years ago. There's no way these aren't 
expired. I did not like this formulation when they first came out. They were, I believe, marketed to be matte lipsticks, but I found them to be really even, oh God. I don't know if you can tell how chunky they are when I swatch them. And they are expired, so it doesn't necessarily mean they would be this way in real life now. But I remember hated these, hating these from the very beginning. And as we can tell, they're more nudes. So many nudes that never got touched. Because once I find one I like, I just don't mess around with any other ones anymore. So these are one, two, three, four, five MAC lipsticks that I know were limited edition. I know a lot of people back in the day used to like, love to collect MAC limited edition products, particularly lipsticks, but I am not one of those people. It's kind of surprising to me that I held on to these for so long. I cannot read whatever color this is, but it's a plummy purple shade that I can tell you from the way the tube looks. I literally never use. One thing about my lipstick collection that I noticed is I can tell the era at which I bought stuff. Like I probably bought this around the time that like liquid lipsticks first came out. It was like matte dark lips were super in. You'll see more of that coming up, but I never wore this and I don't see a scenario where I'm ever gonna wear it again. This is a newer one in that it's only a couple of years old, but this is from the Mac and Patrick Star collection and the color Hey Boy Hey. Just a fuchsia color that I literally never wore, don't need. This one is from the Proenza Schuler collection. This is from 2014. It's a color I normally would be attracted to because it's a beautiful like red orange, but it's expired, don't need. <laughs> Another dark color. This one was from 2013. It's called Studded Kiss. It's actually a pretty color. And then this one is called Flare for Finery. This one's from 2013 also, and it's a nude. Can't even see it. This is like way too nude. I would never wear this now. So even if it wasn't expired, I'd be getting rid of it. But all these are going. These are more dark colored lipsticks that I know for a fact I'm never gonna wear again. This is a Makeup Forever lipstick. I actually loved this formula. I don't know if they make it anymore. It's called the Artist Rouge Creams. Like it's a beautiful formula, but I don't know. I haven't worn dark lips consistently for a long time. Like obviously I'm not gonna wear blue lipstick, sorry. But as a whole, I just don't, I don't know. It's like the older I get, the more I want things to bring life to my face, not darken, not darken it. I don't wanna look dead. And like a lot of these colors do. This is Cyber by MAC. It's a really popular one, but two more really dark lipsticks. I'm trying to tell you guys like, until you go through and see how much repeat items you have or how much stuff you don't use, you'd be shocked how similar everything is. What is this? This is pretty. So I am gonna keep this Disturbed by Urban Decay. I am gonna keep this one because I actually do like that color and I probably would, would wear it even though, I know I just said I wouldn't wear dark lipstick but it's kind of a pretty like red burgundy. I don't know, I like it. All these are gonna go. So I have a lot of these kind of like darker looking nudes, which I'm sure on certain people would be super beautiful, but on me, they're actually not that flattering. And I bought all of these. These are all Mac, except for this one, which is from Buxom. The rest are Mac. But this is when I was going through my, I'm trying to have Kylie Jenner lipstick phase. Like this was before all the different information was released about what she was actually using. I vividly remember going to Mac and just buying everything that looked like it could be the right color. Stupid, don't do it. Ooh, my hand is starting to itch. These are a bunch of Vivids from Urban Decay that I'm getting rid of, lots of pinks. Typically, if I'm gonna wear a bold lip now anyway, I'm just going to use a liquid lip, but I am gonna keep this one because it's beautiful. It's called Menace. That is a really pretty well-formulated matte. It's not expired and I love it. This is embarrassing. These are from the very first time Urban Decay launched lipsticks. This is old as shit. I'm kind of embarrassed that I have the, please don't judge me. What the hell is this? Look at this color. Oh no, 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 ugh. It just started raining, so you guys might hear rain on my roof or thunder or something. Sorry if it's distracting. Okay, so I just finished cleaning out this lipstick tower. It's completely empty now. 
These are all the lipsticks that I'm no longer keeping from that tower. It ended up being 63 lipsticks in total. So I'm getting rid of all of these either because they're expired, actually the majority of these are expired, or it's just a color I would never wear again. And even if I would wear it again, particularly with the darker, more bold colors, I would just do a liquid. So all these gotta go. Get on out from here. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to reinvest in lipstick or lip products this way anymore. I think I need about 10 or 12 maybe, and even that feels excessive. I will never buy this much lipstick. This is Lipstick is probably just not my thing though at the same time. So these are the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Lip Glosses. Uh, I don't even know if they still sell these anymore, I'm not gonna lie. I got these a couple of years ago in PR. Overall, here's this is a really good encapsulation of what I don't like about PR and why I don't get really upset at the idea of being taken off PR list because this is just too much for any one person. What I really wish companies would start doing is reaching out to influencers that they would like to bestow PR on and kind of let them like online shop, if you will, the new collection. Because it's not that I don't like this formula. I actually like it a lot. In fact, one of these lip glosses I think made it into a favorites video of mine. I think it was this one. And it's the... Midnight Cowgirl lip gloss. I'm going to keep this one for sure because I know I enjoyed it. But as a whole, like there's so many of these that I just am never, ever, ever, ever going to wear. And perhaps there are people out there, upcoming influencers or, or other creators that would have gotten a lot of use out of this. So they just were a total waste in my collection. And once again, I'm just gonna get rid of the colors that I know I'm not gonna use and that's almost 80% of this collection. There's nothing wrong with the collection itself. It's just that, what am I gonna do with all this lip gloss? You guys, my favorite lip gloss formula is Buxom. I've been wearing their lip glosses for a long time. My favorite lip gloss of all time and literally the only lip gloss I've ever repurchased in my life is this color Claire. Like I just, I don't know, lip gloss once again, just not something I know, just not something I ever really need to consider investing in this way again because not that I invested in these, but you get what I'm saying. I, I did go through periods where I bought lots of them and we'll get into that later, but most of these are gonna go. I just got this party started and I've already gotten rid of 76 lip products. Ridiculous. These are from the Too Faced Pretty Rich collection. These were sent to me in PR as well. I did like this formula. I don't think it's kind of that chunky glittery thing that Anastasia Beverly Hills, they did a glitter lip gloss a couple years ago and I hated it. It felt like pure sandpaper on my lips. These aren't bad lip glosses. I just don't really pull for them. So I'm gonna keep two. I'm gonna keep these two, which is Raisin the Roof and All the Stars. The rest of them I'm going to get rid of. So now we're up to 79. This is a collection of nude lip glosses or liquid lips that I'm gonna get rid of, either because they're expired or they're colors I don't reach for and or colors I would look terrible in. And this is a good example of a color I would look terrible in. Look how nude this is. This is lighter than my skin tone. I don't think I've ever used it. it. I don't even know why I bought this. Like this is so not the vibe, not even cute at all. These are two lip glosses from Bare Minerals. I remember when I bought these, this is the color groovy and this is the color hashtag life goals. And these are just stark, stark nude, like almost like a liquid like lacquer formula. They're very opaque, very pigmented, which if you're into that kind of thing, cool. But I don't like a nude lip this nude. Like I know certain people out there truly enjoy that almost muted out lip, but I am not one of them. This is about as nude as I go. I just want it to look like my lips, but better, like I said. So I don't know what the hell I was doing buying things this nude. These are Too Faced the Melted Matte Lipsticks. I actually love these colors and this formula, but these are definitely expired. I got these in 2015. Yeah, 15 or 16. They're in the color Child Star and Cool Girl. They're great colors. And like I said, I do love this formula for their nudes, but definitely definitely expired. I used to mix these together all the time. It was my jiggity 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 jam. 
This is Carmelo from Stila, number 101 from Makeup Forever and Pure Hollywood from Anastasia. Once again, just way too nude, can't make it work. Carmelo wasn't so bad, but it is definitely, definitely expired. These are the Smashbox, what were these called? I don't even remember what these were called, but I got almost no use out of these except for maybe this one. This red color is really pretty, but I find that colored glosses, particularly ones that are this pigmented, once again, this is kind of like one of those liquid lacquer kind of colors. There's like no controlling this. It gets all over your teeth, all over your face. So they're beautiful for like photo shoot work or maybe a selfie, but wearing something like this out of the house, I don't know if I would have ever done it. And then within this collection, there's colors that are just a big hell no for me. Like, do you guys remember when metallic lips were really big. I don't know anyone, anyone, not in real life or on social media, who was really into that trend or ever wore, I didn't see it at least, I didn't see it. It's just not cute, it's frosty, it looks cheap. I don't, I don't mean inexpensive, I mean cheap. There is a big difference. Some people get mad when I say that things look cheap. I own a lot of things that don't cost a lot of money, therefore they're inexpensive, but I would never own something that looks cheap. Like you can buy something that's like super expensive that still looks cheap. And this is a good example of that. I'm so glad this trend went away. Oh my gosh, this isn't gonna come off. Ugh. Also, I've realized like how many blue lipsticks I kept getting sent over the years. Once again, I wish PR, if people wanna put me on PR for anyone moving forward, Put me on your PR list and let me pick out what I want and I promise you, you will see those things get used all the time. But if you send me PR of stuff I don't like, I'm not gonna use it. I don't care if you sent it to me for free or not. So all of these are gonna go. These are assorted berry colors I'm not gonna hold on to anymore. What's really funny, this color in particular, particular? <laughs> this color in particular, Baca from Stila was one of my favorite lip colors for the longest time and I will most likely repurchase this if they still make it but it's definitely expired. Oh, when steel lipsticks turn, their liquid lipsticks turn, there's no debating whether or not they're done for. They smell chemical. It's really gross. So these are going. And then I'm actually surprised I still have these. I got rid of all of my ColourPop liquid lipsticks a while ago. Oh, that's because these are the newer ones I bought. I bought these in 2017. Even still, ColourPop liquid lipsticks, are so hit or miss like they apply well sometimes but overall they're really patchy really streaky these are some anastasia liquid lipsticks from the dead dead face liquid lipstick trend you guys remember that when liquid lipsticks first came out everybody was buying these fugly like grayish like I don't know even how to describe what we were thinking it was just really trendy at, a t at the time and I'm sure some people still really like this look I'm not trying to say that it's just, you know, flat out not a good idea for anyone. But for me personally, this just sort of cool toned, dark, matte liquid lip thing, I don't see a situation where I'm going to pick this up again. It just, I like colors that bring a lot of life to the face and these literally make me look dead. So all of these can go. I still am keeping a lot of Anastasia liquid lipsticks because I do love them, but I don't like these colors anymore. These are all the Buxom lip glosses I'm getting rid of. Buxom is my favorite brand, like I said, but not everybody is gonna release everything, you know, in one brand that is amazing or that I like. And this is a good example of that. These are getting, getting gone. These are getting gone. I'm getting rid of these either because the colors don't work for me. Like for example, this is Buxom Samantha. Once again, way too nude. I guess you could hold on to something like this if you wanted to like tone down a nude and make it more nude. Nude lips can be kind of a science, I guess, at the end of the day. I don't need like a science kit. I just need things that work and that do the job and are really easy and no fuss. So I don't need like a cocktail of liquid lips or lipstick collections or lip glosses. Just, just give me what I need. These came from a line that Buxom released. I think it was last year. I ended up giving most of these to my daughter because I knew I wasn't going to wear them. These are called the lip, these are called lip polishes, plumping lip polishes. I don't know. Basically, these are duochromes, and I don't know. I feel like the surface of my lip is just so small that I don't really care if, like, if I turn my head this way, it looks one color, and if I turn my head this way, it looks another. Like, it's just not, I don't really care for that. This is a full-on plumping lip polish in the color Sugar. This is, like, 
not for me. It's kind of that brown metallic thing. I'm not into metallic lips in any capacity. I don't care if it even is for my favorite brand. And then this is Savannah in the Plumping Lip Polish. This is weird. Like I kind of thought I would like it because it's a cool kind of peachy color, but it actually like the duochrome in it, you probably can't tell. I don't know, I'm trying to turn my hand so that you can't, it looks green. Like I don't want my lips to look green. That's such a weird choice, but I don't like the applicator on these either. It's just like a piece of plastic. I don't, I don't know. This was a miss for me. Sorry, Buxom, you guys know I love you. And then the rest of the lip glosses from them that I'm getting rid of are just colors I'm not gonna wear. I'm not gonna wear like a purple berry colored lip gloss. And then this one's wild. It's like a lavender lip gloss once again with the probably would make me look dead trend. Like that's it right there. No, 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 no. That's the color wild orchid. No, that's wild orchid. It's wild, it's horrible, hate it. When I turn this camera off, I'm gonna go through these even further and pull out the things that are never used and those will go to Rest Stop Ministries. The stuff that is used and expired, I'm gonna have to figure out a good way to get rid of them because I hate the idea of just tossing them out. There's gotta be, there's gotta be a better way. Um, I will figure something out, but if you guys have any insight into that or suggestions, please let me know down below. So the grand total drum roll, please, that I ended up getting rid of is 125 lip products and I'm keeping 17 and to be honest that's not even all there are still more lip products over there on my vanity that i'm going to go through further but this is the stuff that i decided to pull out and show you guys hopefully you learned something from this video i do not recommend binging on lip products they are fun and there are some people who are true blue lipstick lovers but there is something to be said from learning from your mistakes and paying attention to your habits. I know for a fact that if I find a lipstick I love, I will wear it all the time. Like today, I am wearing the Christian Audette and Mel Thompson lipstick in beauty. I got this in November and I wear it at least once a week now. Once I find something I like, I'm set for a while. So stay tuned for the foundation version of this video. I'm gonna go ahead and film that today as well. It should be up very soon following this one. As always, thank you to the patrons. We are gonna be doing a lot of live streams on Patreon for the next couple of weeks or so. I want to kind of give you guys a place to hang out and talk and connect and just kind of feel not so alone in this self-isolation thing that we're all doing, or hopefully all doing our part to, um, all doing our part to be a part of, whatever. I filmed a true crime and makeup time video also for Patreon today. It is about Betty Broderick. It is a crazy case. It will be over there too. And I'm also going to be putting a extra AF skincare routine over there or a nighttime. Extra AF nighttime skincare routine is gonna go on Patreon. Also, so there's a lot of cool stuff going on over there. Lots of live streams. You guys know I love Patreon. Come hang out in the Facebook group if you're feeling squirrely. All that information is down below as well. But I gotta get out of here. I will catch you guys in the next one. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day.